Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Archer the Brand. I'm Imran and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to understand and read sun path diagrams. Now, as an architect, it's absolutely crucial to know how to read sun path diagrams because where the sun is massively influences our designs. Now, that could be from doing specific shuttering to even your placement of specific windows or buildings. So it's really important that you can understand these diagrams. Now, what these diagrams do is they show you where in the sky the sun will be on a specific day at a specific time at any given location in the world. So let's get into it. Okay, now before we start reading the sun path diagrams, it's really important to know a few things first. So the first thing we're going to talk about is equinoxes. Now an equinox happens twice a year and it's where the night and day are roughly the same time. Now, these tend to occur on the 21st and there is one in March and there's one in September. Now, it's also really important to remember that these charts are based on where in the world you are. And it's different if you're in the Northern or Southern Hemisphere. Because the sun goes around the equator, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, the sun in the sky will go from East to South to West. But if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, the sun will go East to North to West. So it's really important to remember this when you're looking at your diagrams and it's really important to make sure you know which hemisphere your sun path is from. And I need to introduce you to two angles. These are the solar altitude angle and the azimuth angle. Now the solar altitude angle is the vertical angle from the observer to the sun and the azimuth is the horizontal angle from the viewer to the sun. Okay, so now we're ready to start looking at the sun path diagram. Let's get into it. Okay, now to find my sun path diagrams, I use a website called sunearthtools.com. This will be in the description, but there are loads of different websites out there that you can use. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on sun position and it will take us to this diagram. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna just search Portsmouth and hit enter. And you'll see they put us in the center of Portsmouth. Now you can see here, it shows you where the sun currently is, but it also gives you the sun path diagram here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this from here and put it into Photoshop. Okay, so here we are in, in Photoshop and I've got my sun path diagram open. Now, although these diagrams look quite complex, there are a number of key things that are shown here. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is the dates. So these lines going around here show specific dates throughout the year. Now, the reason these are different sizes are because if you think about it, the Earth is on a 23.4 degree angle. And as a result of this, the altitude of the sun in summer is higher than it is in winter. Okay, so now we know that these lines here on the side are different dates. What about this degrees here? Now, this degrees going around the outside is the azimuth angle that I mentioned earlier. Again, this is the horizontal angle from the viewer to the sun. And as I said, it starts north of zero and will rotate clockwise. Also, just to show you, if you're in the southern hemisphere, the diagram should be flipped the other way. Okay, now we also have a number of other angles in the center here. Now what these are is these correspond to these concentric circles and these show the sun altitude angle. Again, as mentioned earlier, this is the vertical angle from the sun to the viewer. And again, you'll see these dots on this line. Now these correspond to different hours as it's a 24 hour clock. So you can see today, the sunrise is roughly 6 a.m. and sunset is roughly eight o'clock. Okay, so let's do a really simple example so you can get an idea of how we read these. So first, we want to work out where the sun would be at 9 a.m. on the 21st of April. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the line that corresponds to 21st of April. Now, keep in mind, these spaces between here correspond to all the other days in the months between April and March, or the months in August and September. So we're gonna do 21st of April, so we're gonna follow this line all the way down. Now, nine o'clock is here, and therefore, this is our point on our chart that we need to work out. Okay, so once we've worked out the day and followed it around, and we've worked out the time, and follow that as well, you'll see there are different dots for each hour. These might be quite hard to see on the screen, but they will definitely be there on your diagram. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is work out the azimuth angle. Now, as I mentioned, this is this outer circle. So what you need to do is you need to draw a point from the center and you need to 
go through this point here and draw it out. But I'm going to clean this up and then what we're going to do is we'll read it. Now I've straightened, I've straightened out this line and each of these dashes on the azimuth angle corresponds to one degree. So if we count it down, this here is 105. Okay, now we have our azimuth angle, we need to work out the solar altitude angle. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to follow the concentric circles. So to create this line, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, use the circular marquee tool. I'm going to do a point in the corner. I'm going to hold shift, which keeps it a, a perfect circle. And I'm going to hold alt, which makes it the central point. Now I'm just going to stroke this, right click stroke. And as you can see, our solar altitude angle is roughly 28 degrees. Now, if we go back to this diagram, we worked out our azimuth angle is 105 and our altitude angle was 28. So this is exactly where the sun will be on, on the 21st of March at 9 a.m. Now guys, that's unfortunately all we have time for. You, as always, if you enjoyed this, please hit that like button. And if you, help, if you find these videos helpful, please remember to subscribe and hit that bell button. It really helps the channel and helps me grow so I can help more people. And guys, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you in another one.